Hey guys, I'm Kale Andy's with The Process Outdoors and it was December 21st and I grabbed the two kiddos and we went out on their very first muzzleloader hunt. I had a doe tag in my pocket and uh, it was a nice cold front so we figured something would step on out. Sure enough, we were lucky to bag a doe that night. I wasn't gonna take any uh, chances and wait for anything else to come out. Kids were pretty antsy. Uh, they can only play so many games of Angry Birds uh, in the tree fort, but they did real good when the doe stepped out. I said, shh, be quiet, here comes a doe. And they froze and were able to actually uh, turn around in time to watch me and got to see the shot and everything. And the rest was history. We got a tracker down and uh, she fell in the cornfield, but they sure had a time, uh, hard time finding it still. But it was a great evening in the stand with the two up and coming deer hunters and memories that I will absolutely cherish forever. All right, well, I'm Caleb Andes with The Process Outdoors and I got Wyatt here and Keeley. Wyatt went on his first ever deer hunt tonight and we found success. The very first, the very first doe that stepped out to our cut corn decided to get it. So we weren't uh, being picky tonight by any means, especially with the kids on a great December 21st hunt. Uh, we do respect the animals. But December 21st and a first chance to get out for a late muzzleloader. Hoping for a cold front here, but uh, we just made one of my favorite deer hunting memories in the woods and I could not be happier. Wow. What do you think? Yes! Ah! <laughs> Whole time and we had candy and crazy angry birds for them and everything and they just, uh, they would not sit still. We had no chance of seeing a deer tonight. I'm so frustrated. Absolutely, we shot a doe. <laughs> chick, 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 <laughs> And mama, we shot a deer and, and dad missed her. Whoa, we're, we said we wouldn't tell that part of the story. 